lots of people think they've heard the story, but News 2 is the only one that's bothered to sit down with me and ask me for my side of the story. Well, tonight, a Williamson County woman accused of contributing to the school district's backlog of open records shares her side of the story. The Williamson County School District says it has an overwhelming number of public record requests for the 2014-2015 school year. Good evening. I'm Samantha Fisher. Yeah, I'm Eric Egan. New tonight, a Williamson County parent publicly named as contributing to this issue talks about it for the first time. She speaks to our Naja Sherman. News 2 obtained this stack of public records from the Williamson County School District. In these documents are 19 different open records requests from the fall semester. William Squires is the Williamson County attorney. In these documents the school gave me, he says the requests translate into reviewing as many as 350,000 emails. The school declined our request for an on camera interview. Referencing myself, my family. Williamson County, history. mother of three, Julie West's original request produced about 250,000 emails. Today she sat down with me to explain. The truth of the matter is, I came to the table with 10 specific requests related to my family. West says two of her children graduated from Williamson County Schools. Her youngest child, who is now homeschooled, was having problems at school, and she wants access to all email correspondence dealing with him, media outlets, and state representatives. According to West, her request flags so many emails she has amended it, but still has concerns. If, in fact, my request sparked a quarter of a million hits, then this is a much sicker situation than I ever dreamed. Under the Tennessee Open Records Act, anyone has the right to inspect public records, but for the Williamson County Schools part, a staff member has to review each document so they can remove protected information. That is a time-consuming process, but West says it is her right. As I've stated repeatedly, the information concerning my family is at the heart of my request. The district has discussed hiring additional help to meet the demand. Naja Sherman, News 2. The Williamson County School District says it is free to look at public records via email. The school's next board meeting is January 20th.